Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about another way that you can move things in a room, and that is by using the start move by method. If we see what we have going so far, we can see that I've set up Bruno to move toward the bookshelf, and what I want to do now is I want to shift the bookshelf along the x-axis in order to reveal what is behind the bookshelf, and this is a great opportunity to use the method start move by. So let's see how this will work. So I need to have an event that will trigger this particular change in location. Uh, I have a book on the bookshelf that I'm going to use. So I'm going to click on book and I'm going to select code. Uh, we're going to start from scratch here. And since I'm using the event of clicking on the book to move the bookshelf, I need to gain access to the bookshelf. So we're going to use get thing and then select bookshelf. And then the actual event is going to be clicking on the book. So we can do the function on click. And what we want to do here is we want to uh, say for the bookshelf, whenever there's a click bookshelf, oh boy spelling. Um, what we want to do here is we then want to start move by. And whenever you uh, look at, at the parameters or the values that you will put into this method, they look a little bit different than they did before. Um, for start move two, you actually put the coordinates, the X, Y, and Z coordinate uh, where you wanted the thing to go. In start move by, you indicate how much change you want to happen. So DX means how much of a change should happen on the X axis. DY means how much change should happen on the Y axis and DZ means how much change should happen on the Z axis. And then duration is the same. So in this instance, I just want to move the bookshelf to the right 40 units. So I'm going to put 40 in here. And since I don't want it to change on the Y or Z axis, I just put zeros in there. So no change. And then let's do a duration of two. The other thing to consider here, and this is just for kind of visual purposes, is uh, the bookshelf isn't the only thing that needs to move. I also need to move the book. Uh, and so I wanna move it the exact same amount. And so instead of having to worry about the specific X, Y, and Z locations, or uh, the values, I can just shift the book by the same amount. And so I can just use start, move by, and then 40, zero, zero, and then two. And what we should have is that when we run this and I can click on the bookshelf and Bruno goes there, I can click on the book and they both move the same amount moving together in order to reveal what's behind the bookshelf.